Welcome back to Midpoint. He's the executive director of Choice Media, a website designed as the online hub for education news. Bob Bowden joins us today. Bob, let me be fair on the other side of all this as well, because apparently, according to teachers, overall support for the core dropped from 65% last year to 53% in 2014, most of the defection among Republicans. And here we have approval ratings, 76% in 2013 to 46% in 2014. All right, we've set it up here, then the Common Core doesn't work for everybody, the teachers don't like it. So then what do we do? Where do we go from here to solve this problem? Because we had a guest on yesterday who talked to us once again about how a lot of people in the world are smarter than our kids, including the Chinese, who basically make our kids look stupid in comparison. What do we do? Yeah, it's normally the Shanghai province you get with the Chinese data, which tends to outperform the rest of the country, which has a lot more uh, you know, rural farmers and peasants, that kind of thing. But generally, yeah, if you look at large industrialized countries, America spends the most and does the worst. If you look at the PISA test, for example, uh, anyone out there can Google a PISA and see where America comes out. And it's basically given to 15 year olds all around the world. We are never in the top 20 in, for example, math skills, which is the easiest to compare between cultures and between languages. Uh, I mean, the answer to what the solution is, in my opinion, is competition, school choice, uh, proliferation of charter schools and voucher programs and education savings accounts where schools compete for parents to select them. And that way, for the first time in, in many cases, generations, a failing school will have a consequence for being bad. I mean, so often, teacher tenure has protected the jobs of underperforming teachers, and they get to basically stay around for life. Seniority will mean even an enrollment drop means that if you're a great teacher and I phone it in and I'm not I'm kind of lousy but I have one more year experience than you I'll keep my Bob, job. Bob I'm going to go ahead and get in on you right there because drop. you're talking about something here that I've talked about for many years now. Is it then part to solve Common Core what we need to do is make sure that the teachers unions don't have as much authority and those teachers who simply aren't any good at their job could care less basically just slough around and collect a paycheck which is not every teacher I want to make that point most teachers are very good but we are awash in some areas with teachers who can't do their job they're still making money isn't that the real place that needs to start you know, the last couple of weeks, there was a t big Time Magazine article called Rotten Apples. Also, the New York Times had an editorial about uh, closing bad schools. And, and what, it, what the teachers union has done for so many years is created this ridiculous narrative that if you say we need to fire the bad teachers, they claim that you're talking about all teachers. And everyone, no matter how nuanced, no matter how thoroughly people explain no, I'm saying in all careers and all professions, there are good mediocre and bad and we're just talking about getting rid of the underperforming teachers they will claim it's a it's a broadside it's an attack on all teachers it's ridiculous i've only got about 90 seconds left i know there's a battle going on in california right now for state school superintendent yeah. it's a 30 million dollar race and this is basically setting a lot of the tone for what may or may not happen down the road correct Listen, let me tell you, Ed, this is the focus of the education reform world, which I live in on this election day, is this California race is seen as a referendum on education reform. Why do I say that? Because you have two, it's a nonpartisan race, you have two Democrats running. One, Tom Torlakson is the incumbent, and he's basically what you'd call an establishment education guy. And then Marshall Tuck is the challenger. He's also a Democrat, but he came, comes from the charter school world. He believes in school choice. He believes in the Vergara decision that threw out teacher tenure in California. And so what you've done in this race in California, which we're all going to be looking at, I'm sure Newsmax will too after the polls close, is you're, you're able to sus take party out of it and say, what, how much support is there for education reform and school choice in a giant state like California? And the last field poll that was held was a dead heat, exactly tied, I believe it was 44 to 44. So we're, gonna, we're, we're looking very closely at California to see where uh, voters, how voters feel about education reform. I've only got about a minute left, Bob. Is it fair to say the WIP Common Core now at work in so many states that we have to admit to ourselves we may have lost a generation of kids and we simply may have just turned out I don't know any other way to say it, but at least a lesser intelligent group of kids thanks to this decision. I mean, I, I don't, I am not a pessimist. That, that I would, that's not the language I would choose, I guess. Maybe I'm a, a glass half full kind of guy or happy warrior in this regard, but there are absolutely concerns about Common Core. It should be opposed. If you just look at a, a Common Core of data, CCD is the term. The U.S. Department of Education has a website that explains how the federal government will be collecting data on students, not just teachers and not just schools, 
and not just statewide averages, but down to school level student data in federal databases, they promote this right now. You can find it on the US Department of Education website that they intend to collect this data. And Common Core is the thing that will allow them to collect this, this data in a common way. And so it's of great concern. I mean, you, you know, uh, the, the Edward Snowden kind of news that came out from, I believe it was last year, kind of waked up a lot of us to say some of these things are not crazy conspiracy theories and we should be worried about about internet privacy and and this is another concern about common core bob bowden from choice media bob pleasure to have you on the show i'm sure we're going to do it again thanks so much hope so thanks ed all right take care let's remind everybody coming up tonight beginning at seven o'clock eastern time countdown to the midterms and our midterm coverage begins at eight o'clock eastern right here on newsmax